All right, guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. As you're seeing a lot of these videos pop up from other channels out there, all hyping up about what is going to be the release between Blancpain and Swatch. And I have my ideas, and in fact, I spent a whole 10 or 15 minutes photoshopping one that I think I would like to see, me personally. Um, I'll put a shot of it right here, so check it out. I'm thinking they're gonna definitely do the System 51 movement, and they're gonna go that option simply because Jean-Claude Bivet I remember him specifically, I was reading through an article and, and I'll, I'll put a picture of it right here too. And he said, he declares, since 1735, there has never been a quartz blanc pound watch and there never will be. So I think that's going to basically rule out any quartz options from Swatch on this collaboration. Could be wrong, but according to him, it never will happen. So we'll see, we'll see how true that holds. Um, I would like to see one with a rotating bezel the System 51 with the small sub-seconds at 6 o'clock would look pretty sick on this layout. As you can see here, this is kind of my rendering of what I would like to see in different colors. I think a lot of people, regardless of whether it's from inside source or not, I think it makes sense that you're going to have different colors, just like we saw with the Omega collab, you know, different dials and possibly different metals. I would like to see an all blacked out one, black case, black dial, that would look sick. And it would be cool to see a rotating bezel date between 4 and 5. I don't know what the water resistance is gonna actually be on these watches. My guess is no more than 30 to 50 meters of water resistance, so we'll see. But I think what a lot of these other channels are missing is what happened with Omega, is because they were so hard to get, the homage companies seize the opportunity to actually create homages of the Moon Swatch. And they actually put them in metal cases with sapphire crystal, better upgrades, better water resistance, things like that. So I'm like, gosh, if they can do that with this collab, that would be amazing. So I'm looking at you, Pagani Design, and other homage companies out there. Regardless of whether these are attainable or easily accessible, I think they can probably make an homage of it for cheaper with better specs. That's just my opinion. You guys know I <laughs> love homages. They serve their place in this watch community, and I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with it. I started with the homage before wrist check, picking up my actual 5015, so uh, today, in honor of this collaboration, I am wearing my 50 Fathoms 5015 reference, beautiful watch. And um, I know not everyone's gonna be able to obtain these. So homage companies, make it happen. I'm sweating my ass off just thinking about it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, we have like, what, four or five days to see this thing drop. I'm stoked. Um, if it's the 5015 style, the original reissue of the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms, I probably won't pick any up. But if it is the Bathy Scaff, then I probably will. Because I'm kind of on the fence myself of possibly selling my Tudor Pelly in blue to pick up the Bathy Scaff 43 in blue. So titanium. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet or not. I really am still in love with the Tudor. So until I fall out of love with that watch, there's no point in me buying another blue diver if it's not going to replace it. So let me know what your thoughts are. Like, what would you want to see out of this collab? And I guess we'll check back in less than a week and see what happens. As always, till the next one, may the Schwartz be with you. Take care.